my husband and I have, you know, been married for six years. We've been together for since we were, you know, teenagers, but we've been together for nine. We moved into our new house, and I was fine. And then just a few weeks after we moved into the house, I was going to my brother's graduation. And all of a sudden, half my face is numb. I'm having trouble walking. We went to the doctors, and the doctors started doing all sorts of testing. And lo and behold, you find out you have multiple sclerosis. They told me it's going to be a lifelong thing. There's no cure for it. But they said it was not going to be something that affects me majorly. So I was diagnosed in May. Well, come August, I was admitted to the hospital, and I spent two and a half weeks in the hospital over my husband and my three-year-old daughter's birthday. And the doctors had said that they are now listing me as progressive MS. My body is already shutting off nerves. They don't know how it's going to keep going. I am so lucky to have a very supportive husband who is there for me through it all. My daughter, Gabriella, she's the love of my life. Uh, I, I, my three-year-old's the love of my life. I work at a nursing home, and you wonder, in a few years, could I be a person in a nursing home? And that just makes me cry. Mike, you sit here, and you got these two beautiful girls here. What what do you think of when you see these two? What do they mean to you, man? They're pretty much my world. You know, I wouldn't call myself a shut-in, but it's like they really are every single piece of my world. I, I wake up with a lot of pride with what my wife has tried and really hard to accomplish. I love how smart my daughter is. Sometimes I think she's going to be too smart. To go through, <laughs> but... genuinely happy with who they are. You know, when you think of, of Gabby here, and in the coming years, and she's going to have a first prom, and she's going to graduate high school, and she's going to get married someday, and all those things, for you, you know, as you're thinking about where you're going to be at, what kind of goes through your mind? What kind of emotions do you feel? That is very hard for me, to kind of wondering where I'm going to be at. Am I going to be able to go with her to help her pick out her prom dress? Am I going to be with her to help her pick out her wedding dress? And my memory status is already going down the hill. Here at Froggy 99.9 and the Froggy Morning Splash, we just want to hope that all of you have a fantastic Valentine's Day. And just remember, it's not about the chocolates, it's not about the flowers, it's about being with the ones that you love. <laughs>